How many hashtags should you be using on Instagram? There have been many iterations of the Instagram platform and the relevancy of hashtags has changed over the course of the years. A while back, they came out and said you should be using three to five really relevant hashtags so that you don't confuse the algorithm system. Now, they are a little more relevant on Instagram than hashtags are on TikTok than hashtags are on YouTube. Hashtags aren't really important on TikTok and they're not really important on YouTube, although you can use them and it does give some valuable information to the algorithm system. But both of those platforms heavily rely on what you're creating in your content. They understand everything in your content. They understand everything in your caption. They understand what you're saying. They understand the SEO. They get it and they use that information to then qualify where they're going to show it in the algorithm system and to who. Instagram does rely a little bit more on hashtags, but you absolutely can be posting on Instagram without any hashtags. Hashtags really truly are just suggestions. This is a space you can put me in, a content pillar that you can fill me into. It's not as important as the words you're saying on your videos or the text you're putting on your graphics, and it's not as important as the rest of your caption. So hashtags are a lower tier of importance, but on Instagram, they are still a little bit more important than they are over on TikTok or on YouTube. So when you're creating your hashtags, three to five only. Do not do more than that, or it is they have said going to mess up your algorithm standing for that piece of content. The less you can do, the better it's going to work for you. And the more niche you can go on your hashtags, the more relevant you are going to be in the algorithm system. So instead of tagging big celebrities like Kim Kardashian, who probably isn't part of your content anyway, try doing something that makes sense, especially if you are going to try to be fitting into a niche. So if you're doing makeup, tag the specific type of makeup. If you're just doing maybe some type of eyeshadow, tag the brand, hashtag that brand, hashtag the eyeshadow and hashtag makeup tutorial things that are relevant. You don't want to go big and abstract. Hashtag makeup tutorial has a ton of content in there. There's a lot of people funneling into it. So get more specific. Hashtag eye makeup tutorial. You could do hashtag brand of the makeup eye tutorial. You can do all sorts of different things to be a little more niche. You do want to pay attention to the hashtags. They do let you know how relevant those hashtags are. If there's a ton of people in them or if there's nothing in there and you're making it up on your own. So you're looking for those mid tiers, but you want to make sure you're using three to five. And these, again, are just suggestions on where to put you, not blindly throwing you into the algorithm system, just clean, very simple, very logical, very relevant hashtags as a suggestion on where to put you in, especially over on the explore tab. Put them at the bottom of your caption. And then when you're creating your caption, when you're going through and you're writing your SEO friendly caption, use some of those keywords, but use them in a way that is not keyword stuffing. I see so many people just like putting word, comma, word, comma in their keyword stuffing. Instagram has for years said, don't do that. We're going to truncate your reach and not show you to people if you do that. So don't do that. But make sure you're having relevant conversations in your caption. So do it as if you're talking to somebody, but get some of those keywords in there so that as people are reading through, they get a good, well-informed conversation, but the algorithm sees a bunch of those keywords and says, okay, I know where to put this. I know where to index this in Google. I get all of this. The more that you can put valuable information in the caption and then use your hashtags to reinforce that, the better you're going to do. Drop your questions on this down below and follow along for daily tutorials helping you navigate the world of Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and live streaming and the tools and resources you need to level up your social content so you can make this your most profitable year ever with the least amount of stress and time commitment possible. We'll see you in tomorrow's episode.